the casualty there, but we might see a change in the drafts here. And we are going to be delivering you the action. I am Nomad. Alongside with me is Leo. What is going to be the call here? Are, are they going to be playing it basic or are they going to be going up with a cheese strat that will catch the other team off guard? What do you think? Oh, man. Keep it basic, I'd say. Because, again, the downfall of both lineups that lost in game one and two were a little bit too much spice. Uh, they, they, they strayed way too far from what worked. And despite the Roger being a little bit of a spicy pick, I mean, it's creative nonetheless, but it was effective. Uh, the decision to actually pick up no tanks in game two for Bosker just went around and bit them in the behind. So now they need to go back to the drawing board and look at what works and stick to that. All right. So, so far, so good. As we go into uh, game three here, the draft, it's boss uh, on the play and the geeks on uh, the draw. They are going to take out the Natalia and the Valir while the Popol and Koopa and Claude are uh, just out of here for a geek fam. So first pick. For a Bosker, going to be that Ling on Lakes. Game 1 proved it uh, quite effective. And then Geek Fam, a respectable double pickup of the Selena and Tams. This is what I'm talking about. Stick to your lane. Stick to your lane. Stick to your role. And stick to your comfort picks, I feel, is the name of the game here. And straight off the bat, we're getting, we're getting the Angeline. Or are we? Here we are. That's it. That's it. That's the Angeling. Uh, they only need a tank and uh, one more side laner. And that's it for Bosker. Again, this is good. They're, 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 they have a formula, and then within said formula, they can be playful. So uh, I've heard somewhere that you can only cross boundaries if you know where they are. You have to know where they are to cross them properly. If you don't, then you're just going blind. So uh, on the other end, though, Geek Fam, they pick up the uh, Baksha. Very good on Rumpel so far. Uh, if uh, Game 2 is uh, of any uh, of any evidence. But uh, yeah, I guess they're picking that up too to stop any uh, sort of countering the uh, Thams on Arts. So I like that. That's respect. They ban out the Hylos. So they're not afraid of the Kufra. They're fine with the Kufra, I'm guessing. They're fine with the Grok as well, if that's the case. Because they're oh, going to have priority in selecting a... Uh, a, a core. core. Yeah. Uh, the core is... is it, it's not a race anymore. They're, they're, they're at the point when they're accepting the fact that whatever core is left is what they'll get, uh, especially after this ban here. But yeah, let's talk about Grok. You mentioned Grok. Uh... Our uh, lumbering friend seems to have fallen off uh, the meta, at least for these teams' choices. Yeah? Yeah. And mm, band out of the jawhead. They need to secure a good tank here. Uh, Bosker, tank, uh, Yeah, Bosker needs to secure a good tank, and Geek Fam needs to secure a good side lane. Mm hmm. Uh, it, a good core. They don't have a core yet. Um. I'm thinking about a carry. Carry might be good. Or if they're going to focus on objectives, Akimi would be the the next possible choice here. Going to go for the safer choice, though, with the, with on the side lane. Go for the choke. Carmilla. Insta lock as well. Okay, I like the Carmilla. The interaction between um, her ult and Tempest of Blades and Falling Star Moon. And she's a great target for um, Sakura's... Uh, Heart guard is, is a good tool, but hold up. Bosker, now the ones fielding the Roger. Uh, could be a good side laner, though. Uh, I respect that. That's that's fine. I don't... I'm not too angry. <laughs> it's... Wombo combos after Wombo combos here for Bosker. Hmm... Geek All right, they're, so... They're the safer lineup. Yep, this this looks this looks more like something that I I could say is a competitive matchup, especially with what the Geek Fam showed us using the Roger earlier. This is uh, something I look forward to, and I, I love seeing Cho back in action. Uh, Cho here, always the performer, 
even if your team is losing, he's just so good on the split push. Um, could not ask for more. So far, Nomad, uh, what's your take here? How you feeling about this this game three, man? It's eliminations, Bosker and Geek Fam. It's a 50-50 for me now. I'm mm -hmm. not seeing any edges here. There are a lot of win conditions that both of these teams have to meet. And we can see the win conditions being met as early as seven, eight minutes into the game. Hmm. I see. Yeah, I don't know. I, I like the Curse of Blood. And I, I, I love Lakes' Ling earlier from game one. And the, the, the Ling, the Angeling combo, man. And again, this is uh, evident of most, of, of most, if not all good, Angela lineups these days. Is Angela's fine entering any single one in the team. So Sino plus Angela, yes. Scott plus Angela, yes. Kaiser plus Angela, yes. So that's, that's so much value in that pick. But on the other end, though, it just covers all bases. It's, it's, it's just good mobile legend. So, yeah, I'll agree with you, man. I'm on the same page, 50-50. Look at this. Cut up top by Zorn. Immediate cut. And no responses there. Uh, that's going to be the top lane turret being chipped down. But Kaiser hopping in gets the first blood onto Arts with the help of Angela there. And they're going to try to go for a counter engage here. A counter fight. A counter attack. Geek Fam is trying to go for Revitalize is going to be uh, popped out by Rumpel to last longer in the fight. Oh. Rumpel is going to go down by the hands of Kaiser once again. Whoever is controlling Roger is going to control the game. That's how I'm seeing it. Mm, man, Kaiser already two kills with the Bounty Hunter. He does get shut down though uh, after that engagement. Uh, who took uh, the Walkie Grass? I believe that was the Ling. Alright, so Lakes gets Walkie Grass. I like that. So good so far. Uh, barely ahead is Bosker. And yep, instead of that uh, game two putting them down, it actually gave them the hunger. But now we're evened out here, Nomad. Nice pick off by Dominus on Sakura. Just off camera kill. Ooh, oh, Dominus catching. is going to be diving in. Yeah, catching that arrow. Oh, oh Lakes. man, it's just a fire. One HP in a dream. And Kaiser takes out Dominus for that. Scott is going to be the next pro, uh, target ever as Ozuraveki tries his best to uh, kite these uh, members from Bosker. And they don't want to get, both of these teams do not want to get eliminated. Nope, nope. They want to continue to fight for their country once more. This is the Mitel International Championships. And this is a Malaysian mirror match. All right, Bosker and Geek Fam. Now, looking at the values, just barely 500 ahead will be uh, Bosker and Scott here alongside Kaiser. Stunning Rumpel, but there is Zorn and Ozorveki to the sides here. Ozorveki with that orange buff. Let's see. Sakura does not have heart guard, just picked it up now. All right, so I guess uh, he can go a little further from his teammates. Now Kaiser gets level four as well. Ooh, look at this. Big rotation waiting to happen. Big rotation and big fight waiting to happen here. This is for the purple buff. Rumpel's going to be diving in. Over the side lanes. Kaiser's going to go down. That's an opening. Hardguard is on to Sino. Sino pushing in forward. Goes for the Tempest of Blades. And again, just like what we said, there are wombo combos after wombo combos happening here. Arts takes down Scott, though. That is going to be a blunder on the side of uh, Boss Kurt. They lose two members and trading it out for Ozoraveki. Not sure if it's worth it, though. Scott and Kaiser for Ozoraveki, I guess. Ozoraveki still doesn't have any kills despite having Bounty Hunter. But, yeah, if this continues on, it might not worth, be worth it eventually. It, it might actually be to their detriment. Now, looking at mid, uh, big presence here by Geek Fam. Not much uh, Bosker can do. Sino looking low. Ooh, Sino just dueling against Zorn, but again, Zorn has high and dry. So, uh, with Sino not having any allies around. Scott, look at this from the side, though. Oh, gonna stun Zorn. Zorn gonna go and continue with the oh. way the dragon combo to Zion onto uh, Sino. He actually pulls the trigger, but Sino clicks to purify. Actually, no. He just survives straight up. Zorn's gonna go down here. Lakes gets the kill. Who took the turtle? I think that was an off cam turtle take. Ozoraveki. Oh, I see. All right. Was it? Yeah, right. that, that is Ozoraveki. Unless Ozoraveki. it's Lakes. 
Lex would have the buff too. No, it's also the Vega. Also the Vega. All right. Uh, cool, but they do steal uh, the purple. They do steal Ozzy Vega's purple. And Scott is getting hurt. There goes a the hard guard, but that was that Ooh. was not a good hard guard though. Yeah, no. He was gonna die anyway. Yeah, I should have just let that go. But look at this nice push up top by Sino. Could he get it? I think he can. The best that they can do here is for a mirror. But Ooh, he guys, had to walk the back from Dominus, and Dominus says, "You're welcome." Oh wow! But Zaino does get the push up top. He just had to walk back, though. He was already mm -hmm. saved. Mm -hmm. And we see Zaino now uh, just currently uh, picked up his enchanted talisman, so he needs a little bit of a. Uh, Cooldown reduction. A little bit, I'd say he needs more uh, cooldown reduction here. And the more uh, fights that he joins in, the more. Ooh, he's he's go down die. here. Ooh. Oh, mid lane though. Mid lane's gonna be a big problem. Abyssal arrow not connecting onto anybody. Although All right. He still has a turtle buff. Can still potentially push this lane out. Couple more. I think there's a couple more seconds before the turtle buff uh, disappears. Yeah, but as our good friend said, man, there's no minions. There's just no minions for them. And yeah, it's um, still a close fight. I'm. Yep. I'm. I'm just gonna want to watch everything unfold here and enjoy some good Mobile Legends. Uh huh. Now look at this turtle take here, second of the game. Gonna start it. Uh, gonna be started out by Ozorveki. They su they successfully take it. No contest. Too late to, to answer here. By Lakes and the gang. So far, one zero one on Lakes as compared to Ozorveki zero one four. But yeah. Oh, look oh, at this jump. Star moon. Falling star moon. Oh, but Sky got caught out again. He's 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 really low. He does pop the vengeance. But to no avail. They can't keep this up. Oh, Rumpel catching Lakes out. Sino to the rescue. And that's going to be a false engage once more. They can't keep this up. Zor needs to go home too. I think Dominus is waiting for the opportunity to go for the Abyssal Arrow there. They'll spot out the one, but they're not going to be committing just yet. Abyssal two. Arrow blindly into the mid lane. Falling Star Moon by Sino. He's low on HP. There goes a hard guard onto Lakes. Lakes looking for an opportunity to dive in here. And I don't think this is going to be a pristine opportunity for them because Art's going to be taking down Carmilla. Mid lane turret is about to go down as well as this purple. That was interesting. Lakes and Sakura were in perfect uh, place to actually pull the combo uh, with the hard guard and the uh, Tempest of Blades, but they choose not to. They, they hesitate, and it led to this, right? It's, it's an extended team fight in mid. Uh, where they lost two, and then up top, Lakes goes down after a hunt, and Sakura being threatened. Now with a minion wave crashing up top, man, that did not go well for Bosker, not at all. There is uh, Zorn in the back lines, though, looking for a target for the wave of the dragon, and they do spot out Scott. But Kaiser takes down the one before, uh, before anything else. So it is a one for one trade there. Yeah, better than nothing. Could have totally flubbed for Zorn, but at least they take Scott. But again, that was, I believe, the one worst target for uh, the Way of the Dragon combo. I mean, that's a Carmilla. She's a little chunkier than the rest of uh, Geek, uh, than Bosker, but you'll take what you can. Take what you can and... For the Force. They're taking, yeah. they're, they're going to be taking the Turtle without any hesitations here, Geek fam. And Bosker won't want to have to contest this. I, I don't think they're in a position to, Nomad. After this free uh, minion wave clear up top by uh, Ozoroveki, he's going to convert straight into uh, this uh, turtle. And it's as free as it gets. Look at this. He's got a purple buff. He does have his retribution online still. So he can still steal uh, buffs himself. He's going to take this river crab. And Sino going to get forced uh, into the backline here by Rumpel. Oh! Combo by Zorn. He does pop the way of the dragon. Arrow out by Dominus. And Rumpel going to be using the Puissance here to get away. And yeah, this is a, an interesting direction by Geek Fam. Not much presence from them uh, in the map. 
or direction from that forced engage. As Lakes goes down bottom, I think he's going to force the stake here. Yep, he takes the turret and he's going to walk away from Arts. Needs a little bit more energy. There you go. He gets away with it. Okay, that's uh, some sign of life from Bosker so far. Oh, but he gets caught out by Zorn. Uses the Tempest of Blades, but misses out. Only fast by Zorn with the recall combo. Little swag on the top. He shouldn't have used his Tempest of Blades, to be honest. He was going to die regardless of what he does there. Well, he didn't lose anything either because with this uh, respawn timer, he would have had it off cooldown. So it, it, was, it was a hope. You know, it was a, it was a dying wish. My only wish is to Tempest of Blades 1 before I fall down. Probably what <laughs> Lakes was thinking. Probably. Yeah, he tried. He tried. What was he doing his best? There you go. Zorn going in for the Jeet Kune Do's. Uh, not uh, committing the uh, Wave of the Dragon just yet. Mid lane though. Big scuffle here. Sino low on HP. Goes for the Falling Star Moon. Not a lot of damage output here on the side. A Bosker and Geek Fam, they are dominating this. A mega kill on the Dominus, uh, from Dominus, I mean. And yeah, Lex on his alone. Lex left alone. Uh, I'm wondering if he wants to take out Zorn. He does get Zorn. Uh, drive by kill. There's the Tempest of Blades on the Arts and Ozor of Eki, but he's going to go down here as well. It's a wipeout. It's a no done. man, this might be it, but they don't have any minions. So they have one. They have a wagon, and it's over. Ladies and gentlemen, Bosker gets knocked out. And Geek Fam is going to be moving on in the Mytel International Championships. Congratulations. As compared to Game 1 and 2.